Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective no contact in separation reading. Keep in mind it is a general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. What is the collective's energy when it comes to their person? They're in no contact or separation with. Okay, you feel like you want to chase this person. You are in this energy of feeling like if they want to go, I'm still coming after them. You know, you want to rise above the pettiness. You want to let the situation and the separation go and you want this person to come towards you. You don't want them to reject you. What is your person you're in no contacts energy? What's the collective's person's energy? Okay, so your person is feeling distant. They feel like they need to be distanced because they could be traveling a lot. Maybe they travel for work or for fun, but this is somebody who feels like they need to move. They need to move from the connection. They need distance. There's something about them wanting to experience other things than what they've experienced up to this point. There's also something about your person feeling a little bit lost, so they don't feel connected to you and they're not really ready for an exclusive relationship. So let's find out what is their feelings right now. The person you're in no contact and separation, what are their feelings? Okay, divine masculine, divine feminine, and fear. You know, this person really does fear this connection. They feel like they need to protect themselves. They are really well balanced with their feelings and emotions. Even though you guys are in separation, they do feel like at times they um, just need to take charge over these feelings and emotions and not express them. So let's see here, why is divine masculine here? Okay, so your person really does know that they are connected to what they're feeling. They're in not in denial. They know that they feel that there is something more for them out there. Not necessarily a person, but an experience. They're not satisfied emotionally where they're at, and they feel drawn or pulled to experience something else in life. Maybe it is travel. Maybe it is distance is why you're feeling it. Tell me why is Divine Feminine here? Okay, we've got the Hermit card. Your, your person's done a lot of contemplation about this. They maybe had um, got some spiritual guidance. They maybe did some praying, some affirmations, and they got a sign from the universe that said, you know what? Yes, it's time for you to move. It's time for you to go. Maybe your person just realized that it was time for them to separate themselves, not just from you, but from what they already knew. Yeah, there's eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So your person definitely is out traveling, doing other things. Clarify fear when it comes to your person's feelings. Your person feels like they need to protect what they want emotionally. Tell me about fear. Two of Cups. They fear that if they were to agree to get into a relationship with you right now, they wouldn't be able to experience what their heart and their soul is pulling them to experience. You know, even though this person does love you and they do have feelings for you, they needed the separation maybe to validate what the feelings were. But these feelings they have is pulling them in a different direction than this connection. So let's find out what their next actions are going to be. Since this person feels like they've made a good decision that they needed to do this, uh, what are their next actions going to be? We've got ego, regret, and community. You know, your person is very persistent. We've got twin flame at the bottom of the deck. So they do know that there is a strong connection between the two of you. You know, with their actions, they do have a lot of regrets, but they know that they've made a smart choice in this moment, in this time of their life. You know, it's one of those things, right person, wrong time. If they would have met you at a different time, things would have been different. But for right now, this person is seeking something very much higher on a personal level than what a emotional connection in a relationship is. They're trying to find this emotional happiness within themselves. And you know, their actions is to spend time with family and friends and really to do the travels that they need to, to feel happy as them in their own individual self. So let's clarify because this person is very persistent. Yep, there it is, the Wheel of Fortune. Your person truly believes, sorry, there's a glare there with the window. Um, your person truly believes that it's a part of their fate and destiny to do these travels. Whether they took a job that makes them travel a lot, like 90% of the time, or they're physically deciding to travel for personal reasons and working on the road, whatever it is, they feel like this is what they need to do. They're expanding their life. Tell me about regret. 
because this regret, they know that they they potentially have lost the love and the connection they have with you, but they realize that they're gaining so much more on a personal level, that they can't stay in a relationship because that's what you wanted. They're, they're detaching and moving forward for their own individual needs. Tell me about community. Okay, four coins, yep, and the high priestess. Their intuition has told them that they need to conserve their energy, conserve their time, put in their efforts of what's gonna make them actually happy on an emotional level. So what is the advice for the collective at this time? Or the likely outcome? Your advice is the queen of wands, so be really confident about what you want. Don't be defensive or stubborn. This is something this person needs to do on their own journey. So what is the likely outcome? Yeah, this person's going to follow their heart and make the decision that they are going to have a new beginning. And we've got the Eight of Cups. They are definitely going towards what they love and what they need. And you should do the same for your life. Okay, that's what I have for you, Collective. If you do want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Have a good day. Bye.